Here are the steps to bridge Ethereum in the core web extension. First, you're going to want to make sure that you've sent some Ethereum to your core web extension wallet. You can copy your wallet address and send the ETH from any EVM wallet or centralized exchange. Once you've sent Ethereum to your wallet, it will show up and appear. I've sent $46 over that I want to bridge. If you click in to Ethereum, it will display this for you. In order to bridge Ethereum over to the Avalanche network, you can do this all in the Core Web Extension by simply clicking the plus icon, selecting Bridge, and from there you can select your Ethereum and bridge it from the Ethereum network to the Avalanche C chain. Once you've selected the amount that you would like to bridge, click Transfer, and this will initiate the bridge process. The bridge transaction status will then appear. It will display the amount that you are sending as well as the confirmations. You can click next to Ethereum and open this transaction on the Explorer. You can also click hide on the transaction status. This will hide the activity of this transfer, but will also uh, let you know that it's still processing. If you select into activity, you'll be able to see that, but you can continue on working in your wallet. After the Ethereum has successfully bridged, it will display that the bridge has been successful and it will share the amount that you've transferred over in wrapped ETH. From there, if you click back into assets, you will see the wrapped ETH within the Avalanche C chain. After bridging the ETH over, you can make transactions, swap, send it, do whatever you need to. Just make sure that it's on the correct network when you're sending. For any additional questions, please reach out to support.avox.network and an AvaLabs team member would be happy to assist you.